Hi viewers, and today we're going to be looking at Snoop DOS. Now, Snoop DOS is a little utility um, that allows you to actually snoop on your Amiga OS and see what libraries and what files have been loaded when you run a program. Now, to do this, we just open up Snoop DOS, and that sits in the background, sitting there. And the minute we start a program, say our tool manager preferences, you can see it's actually showing you what's been loaded in the background and if it's been if it's failed or if it's okay. Um, as you can see, I've got a number of failures here, but the actual program is still running fine, so that's absolutely fine by me. So I haven't got any problems with this program. It's only the time when you have problems with a program that you should be really using this and going and find what libraries are failing or what parts of the program are failing. So you can see that the the uh, my MUI key is uh, is okay, and but there's some other things and there like libraries and or such have failed. If I close this down, you'll see that again it registers. There's another entry there showing that it's closed the actual uh, program down and got a fail there, but it's all fine. We can do this with any program at all. So there's certain things that I won't worry about, like. Um, the tool type stuff that's coming up here these are settings that you can set actually in the tool tool types itself um, but if we hit pause we can actually pause the execution see how close this hit pause and close this down and snoot dos is actually held on to that and is stopping you from actually uh, from closing that program if i hit pause again and open a program uh which one should we do tool button you can see it's the program's not open, but Snoop DOS has paused it. So we've hit pause again, unpause, and pause, and we can actually literally work walk through the actual execution as it's as it's being done by the actual operating system itself. So it's great little utility to find out what's going on in the background, and if we've got any problems, um, we can go off and find a solution. Now, the reason why I'm telling you about Snoot DOS is because I'm installing this, and this is MCP, which is the, uh, I forget what MCP stands for, but it's basically a load of patches for the Amiga OS to actually brighten up the OS and fix some of the issues in the background and make it a lot more easier to work with. There we go, it's called the Master Controller Control Program. See there, Master Control Program and it's somewhere yep here we go it's the ultimate workbench enhancer so it's a workbench enhancement um, it allows you to do many things and it rests on top of the MUI framework which we've installed in previous videos so I'm just going to download this and I'm going to go through and install this quickly what I'll do is I'll install this on the actual my program my uh, sorry I've extracted my programs and install this and I'll show you the problems that I received when actually trying to install it. So I'm just going to quickly go through and I'm going to actually skip some of these steps and also the extraction of NCP. You don't really want to see me do this. So I'm just going to skip this, skip through the video for this one. So it's all been extracted. Now you have to worry when you double click on something and you hit proceed and the expert user is selected by default you know it's going to be a big install and if we just proceed through the installation now all of a sudden through this installation you'll see an error appear in the top left hand corner here we go M MUI generation failed so well how do we resolve this well we use snoop dos to resolve this issue uh, but the first thing you must remember is that you must give your meager a chance and do a soft reset on it to see if the error still occurs so here I've just done a soft reset and I've gone in and I've run the actual MPC program and I can't see anything any modifications there so I know it's failed run NCP press and I get the mood generation failed again so what we're going to do I'm going to just walk you through the installation of Snoop DOS and then how I used it to fix this issue Snoot DOS can easily be found, so we can do just a Google search and of all places it sends us to the Aminet uh, free software database so we can actually download Snoot DOS from here. Now Snoot DOS is still, is the person who's run Snoot DOS is actually still in existence and is still running a business in Ireland and it's actually called 
the business snoot dos um, after the actual Mega program. So there's a bit of history for you if you're interested. So I've just put snoot dos in my programs, and it's the LHA, and it's the normal um, extraction process as we've done in previous videos. If you haven't seen this, so LHA X on there, and that will extract out the the files for snoot dos. Now we don't have to worry about installing this because the extraction itself let me just update that update that window so you can actually see the new folder that's been added so the extraction itself is the actual program so there's no installation we just extract it and run it so there I've run it Snoop DOS is up and running so now we can actually use Snoop DOS to um, debug our our program and see what on earth is going on in the background. So I'm just going to tidy this up a bit and I'm going to run NCP and I'm going to run the prefs. Now you can see it's loaded. Now it's good that the uh, the error messages come up and what I'm liking is that behind we've only got a small output and we can see from this output that I'm not worried about the tool types. Um, I'm more worried about libs that have failed so I can see that nlist.mcc lib appears there quite a lot nlist.mcc appears quite a lot so I'm going to go off and find that on Aminet and see if I can find an install for that and download it and actually install it on this machine there should be one out there because any missing libraries uh, Aminet's a huge database so I've actually found this one on Aminet and I'll fast forward a bit and I'm extracting it you can see I've still got uh, Snoop DOS open in the background and that's going through the actual writes there now if I hit pause on Snoop DOS while I'm still extracting what it will do it will actually pause the extraction so you can see how, how powerful Snoop DOS is um, I've just scrolled up to the top here to, to have a look to see what we need to uh, need to be installing. So if I hit pause now, you can see the actual uh, extraction behind is actually paused. And if I unpause it, you'll see it starts again. So this is Snoop Dogs actually hooking into the OS and stopping that from opening, uh, stopping that from actually carrying on. It puts a pause on the system so you can actually see what's going on in the background. Very useful utility. So I'm just going to let the extraction take place at the moment. This should distract me out of the libraries that I need hopefully there's an installer in there to actually install these um, as you can see it's just the the nlist dot mcc um, library I need they further uh, the tool types we don't obviously don't have to worry about because those are set the settings in the tool types that uh, we can actually use and if it doesn't find them it just skips over them so I've got this MC list with this hideous icon here. So just double clicking on this and proceed with installation. Migros 3.x. Uh, don't want extra languages. And now that's installed. Now again, remember to do a soft reset. And hopefully this has fixed our problems. Snoop, Snoop DOS has uh, helped us fix our issues. And we can have a look. So I'm starting up the MCP. 020 there and I can see this it's actually worked I've got some changes and the MC pre P prefs have loaded up absolutely fine without any errors so that's it so that's how to use Snoop DOS to fix issues so a bit of non-call for you so uh, here's a great little link that I've just found I was just looking for an image for Snoop DOS to actually put on the video to so make it a bit more easier to find in the world of YouTube and I come across this site. So this is a site from Amiga users users in Ireland. And I've heard of these guys, a brilliant Amiga group. And um, they've got an interview with the author of Snoop DOS on their site back from 2017. So I'm going to sit and listen to this. Um, I'm going to try to do this more often with my videos and bring a bit of history with Amiga with it. So we can actually sap our Amiga and also enjoy the history of what was and still is a great machine. Thanks a lot. See you later. If you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please pop over to my Ko-Fi site or Coffee, however you want to pronounce it. 
and there you can actually support me by dropping me a few pounds a few francs or dollars wherever your currency is all money will be turned back into the show not just for buying me a coffee and i'll be buying resources and equipment to actually produce and enhance my current videos on that site itself